Hello, this is the Microsoft Teams chat and call button template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to have a simple button which you can click next to a user to either open up a chat with that user or open up a call. Uh, that could be a web meeting with screen sharing or just a call. So it's basically just linking into the Microsoft Teams app. This would be handy for an employee directory type of list, um, but anywhere you have a list that references people, you could in integrate these buttons. So I've got a SharePoint list set up, and I have a couple of placeholder columns to hold my buttons. I have one called Teams Chat, and one called Teams Call, and that's all that we're going to need to apply this template. And then my People column in my list is called Contact. So we're going to go over here and as with the other templates, you can browse through some different theme options just to get an idea of different options for the look and feel. And in this template, I just need to configure the name of the people feel getting referenced. So in my case, that's uh, called contact. So I need to type that in here. And then I need the button text that I'm going to use. So for my first one, I'm going to say um, Teams Chat. And uh, let's see, I think we're pretty much set. You do need to specify the link type. You'll indicate whether you want it to open up a chat with that person or a call. So my first one is going to be Chat. So I just need to click on the Copy Template and follow the directions in that box. And I can go over here and go to column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. So there's my chat button. Um, so if I click on that, well, you'll see it's going to open up this browser tab. And then um, we're going to have, uh, you know, we're going to have the uh, chat interface open up uh, from that. So um, that is what you will see close that tab and now we just need to do the call one so if I go back over um, getting that second button set up is quite easy I just go over here and I change the link type to call and of course I want my button to say something different so we'll say uh, teams call and then it's referencing the same person field let's do a different icon this time and maybe we'll do a different color too. So for background color, I'll switch to green. And for ho hover color, I'll just do a <clears throat> light green for that, just to make it look different from my other button. Now I'm ready to copy the template. So I just do copy, follow the directions in the box. I'll come into my second column, column settings, format this column, advanced, select all, paste, and save. And now I've got my second button which will open up a call with that person. So again, it's going to open up this browser tab, which indirectly will open up your Teams client to open, uh, be in that call with that person. So that's all there is to it. So this would be great for an employee directory or a list of people. You can just use these buttons to uh, automatically open that session. And that's all there is to it. This template is a part of the subscription package available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you don't use this tool yet, you can sign up to access 21 free templates. You just need to provide your name and email, and you can get access to those. And then if you go on with the subscription, there are hundreds of options available for you to choose from. Hope you found that handy, and I hope you're able to set up your buttons for Microsoft Teams chat and calls. Good luck.